Let's welcome back to the Resource Hour, Dr. David Klein of the Stages of Life. And I tell you what's great is more and more people are approaching me when I'm out and about asking more and more questions about the stages of life. And that's great. Go to stagesoflife.net. But more importantly, make the drive to Orlando, plan a nice lunch or a shopping trip, and drop into the nutraceutical store and make sure you also introduce yourself around. And maybe you will become a patient just like I am. And that's what you want to do. Doctor, when I go to the stores or I even turn on the TV, what I'm seeing is this is a great supplement. You're not eating the right foods. The older you get, you need more supplement. I can drink this little drink, right, this little brown liquid that I keep in my Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm going to get all the supplements I need as a 62-year-old person. It's magic. It's amazing. It is incredible. And what's more? There's more. No, it works a little something like this. Okay, what is supplement? Well, what's supplemental nutrition before we get into what's a supplement? Well, it works a little bit something like this. As we get older, as we tick out the months and the extra years and so on and so forth and accumulate the disease state and condition baggage, our gastrointestinal tract is less and less able to absorb the nutrients that are necessary for health and maintenance of a disease-free state. So you get older, guess what? You need more because your system is less and less efficient. And this doesn't really make a lot of sense because you would think that a growing kid, that a child, an adolescent has a greater nutritional need than you do for these supplements, which is to say vitamins, minerals, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. The answer is negatory there. No, it's absolutely the opposite. As you get older, your nutritional needs increase, not because your metabolism has increased, but because your digestive, uh, let's just say the inefficiencies of your gut are responsible for this effect. Mm -hmm. So you need to present more in order to absorb a smaller percentage to get the gross amount that you need to get by. Well, what's this particularly true uh, for? Supplemental nutrition. So what do we supplement? We supplement minerals. We supplement vitamins, we supplement essential carbohydrates, Mm -hmm. essential amino acids, and essential oils. Well, let's think this one through. Fatty acids, vitamins, minerals. I didn't mention herbals, did I? Okay, and there's a reason for this, because they're not really supplements with regards to your nutrition. These are augmentation devices. These are the sorts of things that are supposed to give you something that you're really not necessarily supposed to see, but for some magical reason, they may give you some benefit. Now, in truth, there are many of these herbal products that are medicinal in nature, but they're not supplemental in nature. They're medicinal, and you have to see them that way, or you're going to make yourself sick, or at best, you're just simply going to waste your money. So what do we do? We look at the body in pieces. We look at the fundamentals. We get down to the basics, and the basics are this. Minerals are probably the single most important nutritional uh, element that we have to look for. Now, why is that? Because it's the mineral deficiencies that lead to so many of our disease states, which include hypertension and diabetes, as well as other sorts of things like cancer. Well, let's think this one through again. What's a mineral? It's an inorganic substance. It's usually a metal salt. Okay, not always, but usually a metal salt like calcium, magnesium, manganese, vanadium, chromium, and so on and so forth. But they are not interchangeable. A mineral is an, en- is an enzyme cofactor, as is a vitamin. These things are necessary in order for these enzymes, which are organic catalysts, to function. What they do is they pleat. They uh, connect proteins in such a manner as to present them with their ultimate structure, which is necessary for the body to use them. Well, what does this mean? It's like having a piece of, of sheet metal getting stamped into the shape of the side of your car. You can't take a piece of metal flat and stick it up against your car and make it work. The, the body pleats these pieces of metal with these minerals. That's how they work. So guess what? If your body is inefficient in the absorption of calcium, you'll become calcium deficient. Mm-hmm. Well, let's think that one th- uh, through for a second. How much calcium does it really take? Your body only absorbs on the best of days, at the healthy of states, at the youthful age of, of 15, of perhaps 1% or less. Your body will waste 99% of the minerals that's thrown down the hatch. 
Mm. Well, guess what? As you get older, you may have to double, triple, or quadruple the amount of these minerals you're taking to get the same gross amount. You might only need one to two, three milligrams of calcium in your system, but you may need to take two, three, four hundred milligrams to get that one percent in. Well, if you suffer from irritable bowel, inflammatory bowel disease, disorders of digestion, disorders of autoimmunity, your needs for these minerals goes up very, very substantially, but we tend to ignore it. Very important piece of datum. So what is nutritional supplementation or supplemental nutrition? It's simply a recognition of the fact that we need different things at different stages, times, and ages. Vitamins. What's a vitamin? It's, a, it's an enzyme cofactor as well, but this one's an organic one. Every enzyme in your body has at least one mineral and one vitamin attached to it. Most proteins have the same kind of a, a deal going on, whether they're enzymes or not. Structural proteins need these also. So we need to be looking at the mineral supplementation first and foremost. Vitamin, very good. Vitamin A, E, D, and K, well, gee, vitamin D is not a vitamin anymore. Just like Pluto, it's not a planet anymore. Vitamin D is no longer a vitamin. It's a hormone. For God's sake, it's a hormone. There is no RDA for vitamin D. It used to be thought that if you took more than 400 IUs, it was dangerous. It roughly went now to 50,000 if you take it once a week because that's what the endocrinologists think is a good idea for osteoporosis and vitamin D prevention. What silliness this all is. Vitamin D is an estrogen receptor blocker. It's a CERB. It's necessary for other functions as well. Essential carbohydrates. Well, what are these all about? Everybody knows that honey is good for you. Everybody knows that these purple, green, and whatever vegetables are good for you. Why? What is so terribly important about these? Well, there are certain things in there that are bioflavonoids. There are certain things in there that are essential carbohydrates. Why eat a handful of blueberries? Well, because it's getting more to you than the, just, just the blue. You need the essential carbohydrates. Then we all were taught about amino acids. Okay, if you don't get the right amino acids, your muscles won't grow. Well, you're 70 some percent muscle, so you'd better pay attention to it. But more people know more about amino acids than they do about essential carbohydrates. Essential carbohydrates are every bit as important or more so because they influence first and foremost your immune system. So what are we looking at? Do you need to run out there and, and buy some magical juice at one ounce? It's going to make you lift 150. It doesn't work that way. You cannot cram 10 pounds of potatoes into a one pound bag or any other organic medium for that matter. You need to be able to fit these things into the appropriate volume. So if I asked you to take three grams of fish oil a day, but to that same three grams, I'm going to add vitamins, minerals, and herbals, it wouldn't fit, would it? You cannot overfill this bag. So in order for you to get the appropriate amount of these individual items, it looks like a small burger at, 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 at the drive-thru. You, <laughs> you, you can't get around it. Uh, now, how can you compress things into smaller volumes? You do it by making organic uh, products inorganic. The molecules are smaller, but they're not absorbable. So guess what? It's more convenient, but it's not any good either. You are taking these things not because you want to, not because they taste good. They're not for free, by the way. You're taking them because they keep you healthy. And that's the game here. If you can't keep yourself healthy, nobody else will. So where do I start with my patients? I start with minerals. Okay, you start with the chelated minerals. I usually use them in combination when people come into the office with individual items like individual zinc, individual selenium. I usually ask them very gently to throw them away and start with balance because everything in balance in life. Essential fatty acids, omega-3 fatty acids. Well, what about the omega-7s? Uh, okay, these are important as well, but there are more than two omega-3 fatty acids that are important. These are the principal ones, EPA and DHA, but there are others like alpha lipoic acid that are more important to people like diabetics than in other individuals. So what do we have? Minerals, vitamins, essential carbs, essential amino acids. Then we get down to the herbals. This is where most people start. They look at the commercials, you know, super greens, super browns, super oranges, and super beets, whatever the hell the, 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 the vegetable du jour might be. It doesn't make any difference. There is nothing magical about any of these things, 
but these are the very last things that you need to do because they're the ones that give you the least marginal difference with regards to value and longevity. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's true th these things do give you some good antioxidants, but you can do just as well, save a lot of money and a whole lot of convenience by using N-acetylcysteine and alpha lipoic acid and in fact get more than one bang for your buck. I like it. So in other words, that little bottle that sounds a lot like insurance isn't going to do the whole trick. No, it doesn't. In fact, it may not be good for anything. It might make you feel good while you're doing it, and it will drain your checkbook ever so slightly. But really, you're going to do a whole lot better by doing a little bit of thinking, a little bit of research, and just use a little bit more of your common sense. And I like a internet or an actual field trip to the stages of life. <laughs> We invite you to come to Stages of Life. We're located in Longwood at 1917 Booth Circle. That's just off of I-4 and 434. Our phone number is 407-679-3337, and our website is stagesoflife.net. We're also on Facebook at Stages of Life Medical Institute. And let's uh, see, our office hours are Monday through Thursday from 8 to 5, so come on in.